Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft near software here. And today we are going to see about real-time stream processing with Azure Stream Analytics, Azure Event Hub and Azure Synapse Analytics. In today's scenario, there is a company called Contoso Auto which is collecting vehicle telemetry and want to rapidly ingest and store data in its raw form. While ingestion is happening, they also wants to do some real-time processing on this data. At the end, they want to create a dashboard which is going to be automatically update while new data is being coming right with this flow. Along with all this path, they wanted to detect some anomaly like engine overheating, abnormal oil pressure or aggressive driving. And using this component, they wanted to map this with cities also because they have city related information coming with these sensors also, which is installed on different vehicle. These vehicles are sending the data such as VIN, such as VIN number, CT, region, outdoor temperature, engine temperature, speed, fuel, engine oil, tire pressure, odometer, etc. Right? So for this demo, we are going to use a data generator tool which is going to send this vehicle telemetry to event hubs and then we will connect event hub to Azure Stream Analytics where we will run some grouping operations and then all this output is going to be stored in Azure Synapse Analytics which is can be later used for building some dashboard or doing some other operations. So let's go into Azure portal and start this demo. So for this demo we are into Azure portal and inside the source group let's quickly create required resources for this demo i will go to integration section and i will first create event hubs i will create the basic things only till at the time this resource is being created I can go ahead and create another resource which is stream analytics job I will go ahead and create the third resource which is Azure Synapse I will give the default settings for this all this resources I will create this. Let's go to our resource group. We have already event namespace created in stream analytics job created. Let's go inside event hub namespaces and create event hub. Let me create. So now deployment is succeeded for all the required resources. Now let's go into Synapse Studio. So we are into Synapse Studio and we will go into manage section and we can see that there is built in serverless pool. But for this demo, we are going to use dedicated pool. So I will go ahead and create a dedicated pool. This name. And I will keep the performance with uh, less one because it is going to cost with that performance. Let's review this one and click on create to create this dedicated pool. So our pool is ready. Now we can go into develop section and we can have the script. And I will select now this dedicated pool and database is name is also soft pool, pool, a soft pool. Let's try to create a table inside this database. Table is vehicle averages where we will keep average temperature, average speed, snapshot and other things. So let's run this table script. So our table script is created. If we try to run what is inside this table. So let's go ahead and so there is nothing inside this table right now. Let's go now back to our event hub and uh, stream analytics job so this is our stream analytics job let's go inside our input section so let's in input section let's add the stream input as event hub 
and we will select newly created event hub and let's put this name is telemetry because we call telemetry is going to come inside this one so all this is fine let's save this so telemetry is going to come so now it is being added right now it can take some time uh, till the time we can go into output section and we will so we are in output section let's add synapse analytics as a output and we have multiple options as a authentication mode managed identity so we have to go and add and we have to run some query we can go for sql server authentication and let's go and grab username and password from snaps analytics for this inside our rg and inside our Synapse studio we can see that uh, sql admin username and let's put this username inside here this will be sql user admin and we when we created we did not given any sql admin password now we can give the password here so let's give some password let's go it here in and let's put the same password let's try to save it is going to test um, the connection and other things so successfully connection test is done so our output is also configured input is also configured now let's go to so let's go inside event hub namespace and inside new event namespace we can go into event hubs and we can go into shared access policy we can create a policy let's put the name telemetry event hub and that that policy will be there for only for sending because that whatever application we are going to use that will only send that to this event hub so let's create this policy now we can go inside and we can get the details of primary key with connection string and for this demo uh, i have downloaded this transaction generating application and this is from microsoft website so I can go into app setting.json and I can update this connection string and then I can go and run transaction application. Let's click on the transaction generator application. Now it will start sending that message to event hub. Yeah, it is able to send that message. There is total field equals zero, 500 messages so the yeah. so this is the bin master list which bin it is going to be used for sending this one so if we so see this is now it is sending all the details total event is sending all the details is happening and it is saying that okay all the success is happening if we go inside our event hub now in some time we should see that some messages are started coming it will reflect it here also so we can see the details and now we can go into stream analytics job and inside the stream analytics job now we can see that select star into snaps snaps is our output from telemetry which is our telemetry is input the default whatever is coming from that event hub it is going to list and this is what it is coming engine temperature speed fuel all the details uh, we call telemetry is coming and we can see all the details when it is coming from which when it is coming what is the ct all the details are coming now we can customize little bit this information what to send into output because output we do not have same columns right so we do not have neither all the details because we have created with limited one if you see that one average engine temperature average speed and a snapshot so if we go inside that uh, we can customize this query and we can run some filter and aggregation and we can do that one but now we will use this query so here we are saying that select average engine temperature and uh, select average speed and system dot time stamp is a snapshot from this input telemetry as input um, uh, time stamp by time stamp group by tumbling window duration minute equals two and once we are doing all these details and this is common uh, CTE we are writing and then uh, we are taking that CTE and putting inside synapse which is the output so let's test the query and we can see the similar schema which uh, we just saw inside synapse 
studio if we go and now as we done this one let's save this query and once it is saved we can go ahead and start our job and once it is started it is going to take some time once it is started it is going to run all this whatever query we written group by normal query it is going to group that one and put into our snaps table and later from snaps table whatever operation or whatever power bi or anything we want to do that one we can go ahead and do that one now you can get an idea is that how that lot of um, vehicle is running on the road and how they are sending that telemetry and how uh, we can get the details right how the company can get the details that what uh, car is where and what vehicle is where and what is the temperature and other details so they can send each car in each vehicle is going to send the details into our event hub and event hub is going to connect it with this kind of stream analytics job and now let's go to that as uh, this uh, job is started and we can see that this job is running right now we can go inside our table and we can try to run right now it is not there it will come in few minutes now it is started coming so this is how it is going to be that give some seconds and it will be started more populating because we have given such query so let's wait so because we have written as a two minute interval if we go and remember that one right we have given the duration two minutes so each two minute it is going to run and write that one so that's why it is going to take a little bit of time to come the second record the second record is game so this is how it can come and we can do the charting from here if you want to see that how the charting look like inside this one we can select that let's select the area chart and then we can see the details more on that that we can have that average all the details uh, and then whatever we want to do that right we can go ahead and see that that is what is happening right now inside this uh, in graphical mode so uh, if we see now third record came and we can see that all this uh, that what is coming in other details so this is how we uh, can have the details inside our synapse analytics from real time ingestion right it is happening the real time this is sending the real time and this is the simulation if you visualize that one original vehicle and other things is going to send this uh, telemetry data that which city which is the bin which is the city which is the region all the detail is going to send and we can do that is stream analytics based on that one on the real time as well as we can go ahead and put data in for hot path scenario into azure stream analytics and we can run the later analytics on this scenario also and whatever we want to do by maybe by notification or doing something different so that we can do that is what i wanted to share in this demo hopefully you will like this demo